Uh, good morning, folks. Uh, it's 8.35 a.m. And the uh, 18th day, 7th month, 2023. You have a look at here at a very predictable move happening out here in the, uh, in the Tasman Sea here, just south of uh, uh, the Vanuatu over here. It's Bird Pine Island is frying away, frying pine, frying pine. And then, of course, the, the guilt gets hidden. And this will have influenced the weather. And yeah, this was a... Uh, Eight hours and twelve minutes ago. I don't know why it's not wanting to do what I want it to do. Okay, so I will now refresh this part of it. Sometimes it gets control back. I'll give it a moment. It's locked my screen up a second. So we go back twelve hours. Great, right, I'm going to get it back there. It's right about here. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was a good shot, wasn't it? Now I got control again. Yeah, you see the beads? And they blasted it and they tried to hide it. It's different levels of the atmosphere. Hey, there's almost a full on black here. Right? So anything that's coming up is going to come up and over. And yeah, this beam here is going to split the flow. And this is going to crush stuff to, to feather towards uh, the flow here to feed what's on the coast here toward Brisbane. And uh, it looks like you've got some, uh, some pop ups over here that's come up over uh, Goli and uh, Tweeds. And uh, well, let's have a quick look at those. Yeah, shall we? Yeah, so here's what's coming ashore, and what's coming ashore, and I'll let that roll a moment while I uh, find where the live video is so I can read your comments. Okay, that's always a good thing. Well, that's a very dramatic thumbnail there with that big blaster going on out there. This is frying pine, frying pine. Ain't showing much action here. The moving not at all. Very, very slow motion there. So whatever's coming ashore did it very, uh, very slowly. All right, let's go over here toward uh, the Gimpy Corridor here. You'll be some creepers here. Yeah, moving a bit, uh, track in that direction. Your saw will be this one here. Take a few hours to get to you. Yep, 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 I'm watching. Get some stuff popping up down here uh, just outside Melbourne. I saw I was watching this, this line here. And Tazzy, you too. I am going go in on each one of you. See how straight that line is? Dude, I'll show you the cam that did it here uh, momentarily. Cause you're waiting for the weather show. Yeah, I can go straight to the smoke. Yes, my gosh, you should see the plumes over the United States and Canada. I'm not telling you, two thirds of a country has been taxified with incredible clouds of smoke. You could say I just smoked a pack of Canada. <laughs> you, you, when you work it around these days, who'd I see said that? Was it was it Rance? <laughs> Rance did it himself. I, I think it cracked me up his comment. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just went outside and smoked the whole curtain of Canada. <laughs> you see a beam sweat through here somewhere? It just keeps straight line in your asses. Yeah, they're hiding your their next reds uh, fairly well. I mean, these images. Tazzy, I ain't left you out. Uh, you got some scatter. Some of that should be fallen by snow. Actually. Ooh, look at the straight line of that sweeping. Goes out in V. Right, let's go see. Shall we look at the bonds? Shall we see what is there? I see, said the blind man as he picked up his hammer and saw. Right, let's turn some of the names after because that's going to be a distraction. Right, let's have a look here. Oh my God, would you look at the gulf streaming over the bay, over the wine area, McLaren Vale, and all that is just getting all the wine. It is such delicious, cambaminated. Would you like to cambaminate it? Or the uncombaminated wine. Oh, I would like Camstraya's finest, please. Come in. Here you go. Camtrail. Cam That's an obvious. These are bomb clusters. See the see the cluster bombs going up here. Boom, 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 boom. Goodbye to your blue skies. Guys. Say hello to to your plume skies, your boom boom skies. Where did our sun go away for so long? Say so long, solar radiation management's been going on too long. Can bomb, ba ba bomb, bomb. Can bombs, ba ba bomb. Can bomb, ba ba bomb, 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 bomb. I could do the ridiculous falsetto. But bum, 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 bum. It's just not working for me. That's sickness mix. That's like that deployment in a, in 2016. I mean, people died from breathing the air. 
They called it thunderstorm asthma. I called it Kembam asthma, and I predicted it. And look at the penis been drawn here. It looks like an immaculate ejaculate there. It's not, it's not so immaculate. Look at the loops here. Anybody pick up any uh, a potential cloud seeding uh, activity going on with loopy patterns through here? Well, here's your uh, corresponding uh, correlation to the activities. You see the squared air and the square here. How many directions of the wind did you have flowing here? Right here with a big triangle. It is, this here is a very telltale picture of geoengineering here, just north of Adelaide. There's mountains up here that don't deserve this treatment. There's trees under here that are going to have toxic metals fall out in them. Now, they're not designed uh, to take into their cells and then the center's right of the trees turn all black inside. Go look at your firewood piles and tell me if something look wrong. You should test the smoke coming off and see how much uh, aluminium it has in it. Barium, strontium, lithium. And other uh, terrible misses, not to mention uh, the carbon nanotubes. Uh, some people call graphene oxide, but it's, to prove it's oxidized, uh, is a whole other matter. But carbon nanotubes is a huge problem. They're very, very bad for our bodies. Anything fibrous that you breathe in is not very good for you. No, you don't go handling. Uh, insulations in your houses and stuff without certain equipment on there, asbestos is installed, those are fibers. And fibers ain't good to breathe. You get smoke, people that never smoked in their life have fibers diseases in their lungs in Australia. And they never smoked. And where could it come from? There wasn't any industry around. You see these bomb fields? How many directions you got going on there? In a, it's a bomb field right off the coast of Tasmania. Eccles. Schmackles. You see the straight line here that I was picking up in the radar? It's all bombs fueling all of this. See that cluster bombs there, 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 and there, and there, and there, and there, and there. Backwards 10 minutes. Do, 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 do. More bombs. Loopy here. A spunk right there. Some chode in the sky. And who has to eat the chode? You do. Look at the microwaves here. Bzzz. I'm sorry. Gravity waves is an unproven theory. Rate. So therefore, can that be used as effect? And that's microwaves. Yes, you have had a, we have had a CME, and the solar wind uptick and the auroras uh, moved very far north. And uh, look at the waveform coming through sideways. Not just that one. There's another one that intersect in there. Quite much. Now look at this crap coming your way. You slow that down. That's low enough. And good morning, folks. I'll lean back in a minute and uh, look at what you guys are saying. <clears throat> oh, my God. This is horrendous. Look at this mix here over near Perth. This is one of the largest populated areas on the west coast of Australia. Pinpoint targeted for toxic lungs. What do they got? A new, a new test and an asthma vaccine coming? No, thanks sure giving you the conditions to need it. There's no such thing as needing a vaccine. The planet don't need a vaccine. There's no such thing as a safe vaccine. You know, I am not vaccine hesitant. I will not hesitate to, to say no. I have an opinion. Well, we were right about many things because we care. See the waveform kind of going out west. Look at the square form to that. That ain't natural. It ain't something you would expect to see Mother Nature give us. The trees should naturally be planted to control the weather of the world, right? Because they should decide when they need a drink, when they need a sunshine. It should be up to us to say, hey, only have blue wavelength of light come through instead of the beautiful orange and yellows, like a citron, like our sunshine should look. Has anybody got any comments? Hey, Linda... That uh, Cobra says uh, that they uh, blasted big time, and that will do to them. And what will that do to us? Well, there's a lot of things can can do to you. Uh, lethargy is one of the biggest ones. It provides metals in your body that uh, ions can be stripped off of various microwave devices. Yeah. And then you microwave next to your head, you get the nanoparticles of, of aluminum in your head. What's going to happen? Bzzzt. You fry dirt. Be like Pine Island out there, so to speak. See that right there? Wow. Boom. Boom. 
boom goes the plums. Look at that crap there. Or keep going. It ain't natural, but something over here keeps the play and stuff. You can just see it pointing right fucking at it. There's an upper level uh, platform of some type of playing. Right there. Can you see it? How many uh, obviouses do you need? Uh, the coast up here in the low deck, the first thing you notice uh, is what? Square form, where all the clouds just step. They just stop. That's waveforms doing that. The microwave heated outflows is there. Making sure this thing walks over in a sweep beam as it's needed. Hey, the wipers under here. Look at the boiler. Heated outflow both directions from here. There's a beam. Look at the fragging down here. Zzzz, that's right. It's right. We know what's down here. We know it weather modification station known as a super dark radar tigers down here amongst other devices I imagine as well that are not as well publicized because tech has moved on since then and of course there's the Blenheim spy station over here super fryers over here I've seen them with my own eyes stood right at the gate yep stood right at the gate of that place it filled it and went bzzzt Blenheim I mean I believe me well you're there why are they still there you could just say, if a big device is needed to be and to take a storm over and to fuel your demise, and you knew about it 16 days in advance, and you didn't react, they should be eating popcorn. Boom. See the waveform here holding off the flow through the straight. It forces everything up and over. This thing's going to make a low here and walk up the island. It has to. Okay, so let's have one. That's almost dizzy. Stop! Right. Well, in a barn field right here, it ain't just microwaves, by the way. You have to have some kind of chemical catalyst in the atmosphere for uh, the waveform to propagate through and to uh, nucleate the condensate set. You agitate the particles till they get hot, and then they're hotter than the outside air. Hey, you went to with a courtesy because of the pressure differences in heat and cold. There's all sorts of funniness is going on. What the hell is that? It's like one of them ducky things where he's going to do phenomenon. Dee 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 dee. Kambamanan. Dee 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 dee. Kambamanan. Beam beam. Be 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 beam. You boom. Kambamanan. Boom boom. A pluming. Kambamanan. Boom boom boom. Plume. See it? Kambamanan. 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 Boom boom. A pluming. Kambamanan. Boom boom boom. Plume. Can buy me nine boom boom ba 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 boom boom plumes. My kid with a shape. Yeah, I could have gone full nuts so I need. I still got a bad headache, Zach. Some some enthusiasm is hurt. Look at the Chris Chris right over here. Chris, the center of the country, and these squares over here and here to region. What'd you think I was going to say, Frickatani? Come on, Ian, look at the brass knuckles in the sky. Who's getting a punch? Mother Earth. Right in the kisser, man. That's wrong. Yeah, man, they're microwaving the hell out of you. That ain't good for the volcano. That ain't good for earthquakes. That ain't good at all. My God, look what they can do to you. Look what they are doing to you. And they're making your weather doo-doo. Doo-doo weather just for you. Just for you, but nothing to see here, you know. And just that big frying island out there that was on the on the, of that. Because other than that, they, you ain't got no radar. You ain't showing nothing, nothing. New Zealand, you don't exist weather-wise to the world. If I can have excess, show me incredibly terrible totals. Hey, for days and days and days, and there's not a peep out of out of your weather services, then something's wrong. They should be saying, we have a model that's showing some concern. Now, I never agreed with the 40 uh, millimeters. I've always, I've been staying 20 at a whole time. Look at the beam coming out of Christchurch here. Which, hey man, it'll come in in a minute. I'll give it a sound effect. Bzzz. Do you see it? Did you see the weather modification? There's weather modification, geoengineering, and cloud seeding are three distinct different definitions, even though they sound like the same thing. Okay? 
So read your geoengineering governance document and you will learn uh, which one is which. You're not going to get in it. So this is why Cook Strait's uh, flow is blocked, as these beams right here are prevented that flow. You might get a little tickle in here, but once it hits that heated outflow of here, it can't go nowhere. That's what that did. Speed beam. That would have been within the last, uh, is that the last hour? Let's see where it may. That would have been 11 hours and 56 minutes ago. Not quite going to show up on my thing, but most likely will show up here. Yeah, I'm going over to fires and I'm going to have a good look at the plumes and the smoke. I'm going to turn it steady for now. Yeah, it just uses extra data. All right. Bandwidth is everything. Let's go in and see if we can pick up a beam sweat through here. So we have one come up the aisle in this direction, one came up the aisle in this direction. You also have another one. Straight line came up through here. Didn't proceed very far. It would fry and pine do. Oh yeah, yeah. It's whatever the hell it did. It's gonna show up. I'm gonna know. I could find it. <laughs> Burnt Pine Island, Norfolk. Who owns it? Where the fuck is this one? Okay, here we go. Bird Pine Island has blown a hole out around itself. Not a fucking cloud going. Look at the scalar square generated. Now we went off in a beam here, here, and then went full on down this one direction in a wedge. Full on down in this direction is nearly cloudless. Where it has definitely had an effect on the clouds, that beam. It absolutely did. Now, did that happen? How long after that did this happen? See the shape? We have to look at these things. Here's the island. Bird Pine, Fryin' Pine Island. It's probably where some of the devices are here. Yeah, I'd love to have a good look at that place. That's not very natural looking pinwheel over there. These are bombs. Boom! Look at the mushroom clouds at him. Typical firework deployments. So they definitely put down the waves. Yeah, they fucking beamed your ass hard. Force that moisture around, man. Control that flow. Gotta have that flow, man. Gotta have the flow. Well, let's see here about the EMF I was picking up over here near which they say. At Toranga. Tororanga. You see the lines there of editing. They do not want you to see this. Nazi skies are done by people who do not want you to see the Nazis. The Nazis. Yeah, that's right. They don't want you to see their guilt. Look at this triple shed here. Look at that line here. Kambam, Kambam, Kambam. Streamers of God only knows what's going on here. Was that a tattoo needle? Mother Earth don't need no tattoo. Hey, look. Jeff, man, got a longhorn in the sky over there near you. Ooh. Editing out the feed sucks. You can't hide your lies in the skies and this tiki hidden inside this fucking object here. You ain't hating Mr. Bones from the Skull and Bone people. You, we know what your number is. Your gig is up. The gig is up. Gig is up, man. Gig is up. The fraying's going on. You did some very dramatic uh, auroral pictures uh, going on down here from this these areas. It is very, very far north of Cape. And some people in Tassie was picking it up. Picking it up. Let's look at this uh, 
this clusterfuck up here. I have no idea what this is, town. I was a Dales Ford in a, a Lionville. It is perfect. Uh, the Bureau of Morons is, is named Lionville. Maybe we'll move the government over there. We'll get my Dean saying. Uh, we'll use Madness this song, maybe. Welcome to the house of bums. It's the government. Welcome to the liar's den. Welcome to the house, you bums. Cam, bam, 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 bam. Booming. Pluming all your wrists, they fry at you and Jameson, and then you get a bam again. Welcome to the house of bombs, it's the government. Yeah, somewhere over here is the liar's den. There it is. This is where you find the house of bombs. This is where we are going to scream in our various houses in the world. No more, no more. I am not the system's whore. Career politician, excuse me, didn't you fix it in all those years you were here? Get the fuck out! We're beyond fucked, more than we ever have been, and if you've been in office the whole time, get the fuck out! It's time. I'm sorry, it's four years and out. Bye bye. Uh, you either did it or you didn't, and suddenly you would be beholden to the goodness of your reputation, rather than the balance of your bank account deciding to measure your character. Which is a bad character most of the time. In a dog eat dog world, they said it's akin to cannibalism of dogs. Look at these loops out here in the ocean. Was that a tick? Might as well be. It's sucking the earth systems dry, falling out into trees, getting in the trunks, and rotting the roots. Oh, oh this super chicken. Bark, 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 bark. The fuck is that? Ooh, it's aliens, man. You have to be an alien to understand that you're being killed. You're being culled in so many ways. Look at the ingredients that half the food on your shelves. And look what's falling out into your organics here. These bombs over here. Where the hell am I, anyhow? You are making my way across Lake Sedona and Streaky Bay where you go run naked over here. You go running naked to here. Who oh, is the god at the street? Nice to see you uh, not covered in streaks again. It is very nice, but these people can't say the same. Their sky is covered in streaks. <whistles> Here they come, booming and pluming. There they go, pluming and ruining. Boom, boom, boom. The emperor's wearing new clothes. Stop wearing the emperor's new clothes. Actually, <laughs> that made me laugh. It's true. They stay in that they're showing us exactly what they're doing right in front of us day in and day out. Nice to see the lakes, nice and clear. There's not a lot of dust been whipped up. Yeah, that's a good thing. They yeah, said so that should help with some of the air uh, quality in these areas and these forests over here. That's nice to see. It's almost like cloud brain, and there's so much EMF going on here. Your sky is boiling. I think your weather is being manipulated. Weather manipulation with EMF perturbation. Now that's your big uh, one, the weather modification one. And there's a crow watching us across the street. Hello, my friend. Uh, we all love you. He's watching me do a forecast. Yeah, I do enjoy my, uh, my window. Right, uh... I said I was going to show you some smoke, yeah, but before I do that, I want to get into a, a, some of the, uh, the rain and the thunders and all of the uh, rumblers. I'm going to just do it the way I did it earlier uh, when I was outside loading the screen. Okay, so I'm going to let that occur now and look at some of the comments. Anybody can say anything? No. Hey, you ain't used to that. I can read your comments, no. Oh, they got something planned coming soon. They always, there's always something. They are our oppressors, in case anybody's wondering. The ones that are doing this. The ones that we all deserve an honest answer from about what the hell's going on in our skies. Them ones. As you can see, secondary laws farming over here as this hook comes over and a wiper move with the EMF's going to just take that whole band in one gas, grasp it here and here with an out, outward side of a beam and just sweep the whole thing over at once. And boy, is that going to energize it. Here we come on, snows. Oh, it's stalling. It's stalling. Yeah, I knew it. Without a second dancer, has to form. 
This is when the influence and the tab splits. This is the second law happens. And if they don't open the flow for this street, you guys are fucked. That's where this whole stream just could straight across the country for a fairly extended period of time. There's a light coming down in this river. They turned it. There's a big beam came up and they turned it. Right? And they all grande you with an El Grande beam out. And then there's a big beam up here. It made sure all sorts of shit stayed there. It's right, came right to you. It might have naturally gone somewhere else, but no, it has been decided. Uh, at New Zealand, land grab is there, the colors is there, stack and pack. You have permission to live where the fuck they say soon. Once they give all your rights up to the various voice groups, because you got to have a political party that says voice instead of realizing you got a fucking voice of your own. Use it. Lose it. Because it's not just the feeds of radars that get edited out. As you can see, this is a fairly long event here. Early line as the slingshot happens here on the 22nd and 23rd. Whammo. That's an odd move. Straight into the bottom of the South Island. That's weird. Yeah, you'll be finding that interesting. Oh, you should see the totals as we have here coming up on that. The, 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 the Skull and Bone 23 day. In 22, 23 right here we get a... You know, those numbers do follow each other. We get a little inundation of the coastal roads here of, of Australia. They're going to bear some concern. As they're doing your beautiful weekend travelings, trying to go to church, trying to get together and have camaraderie, man. So be very careful out there on the road. Make sure your tires are up to par. Don't surrender your vehicle to the people that want you to have electric stuff. Because that's worse, I think, in my opinion. To have no choice at all is to be told what to do. Mm -hmm. The totals that are showing... All right, with a setup like this, and a 27, uh, there's nowhere for that high to go, that low to go, until these absorb. Um, this could skate around a bottom, but it's unlikely. I mean, if this gets much higher, that's going to get even higher. Beam that from that one island over here. And Hyder, this storm comes back and visits you again. Just goes right fucking west. This is, this is a dangerous, dangerous situation. Kind of. And what's coming in the future in that? Got a new bubble up down here to bring another razor right the fuck on over. We're looking probably about seven days behind that. Maybe five. It depends what they push over the pole and out the other side. It's always important for me to watch the Antarctic flows. Yeah, from under South America, and then back over under here to catch it, and with this stuff coming from under Africa, and boy, today they, they get good at moving that around. Ooh. It looked like a sarcastic face. So uh, that's what they say was going to happen, to happen, happen, happen. And now for the, the worst news is of all that I can think to have to give, as your accumulations uh, are starting to become quite evident, and the fives. Now you're already getting, we're really starting to get some wetnesses coming down. And at tens, I get two very distinct forecasts. Well, all of them are pinpointing these areas. Excess said the worst. Excess was still, is, has stuck to their guns the entire time. It's saying 20, 23 to 30 it's centimeters in some spots. Okay, so I've been saying 20. 15 to 20 centimeters is going to come over here. I think that's very accurate. Uh, some of your new snows to be expected. Um, you know, down here through Kaikoura and those roads you stiff. So, uh, snuggle up and uh, get your dry socks in. You can be with some dry socks in. There's a lot, of, a lot of disagreement about if you're going to snow or not and how far it's going to come down. That must be when that slam comes ashore. When it comes and whammos you, it'll be there. So you're going to be watching this very, very closely today. The conditions of like beams that you've seen I showed at the beginning from out at Burnt Pine. They're very, very important to know about. And then look in the clouds and start learning what happens after they deploy. And know where your devices are. Like where this one is under my middle finger. Okay, wait for it to do things. And that's what holds that other storm on. And what's going to keep that high here? High. This thing. It's going to heat it up. And if it gets, it gets much hotter than... Uh, then 1020, if it goes up toward 1028 at 1030, it'll pin that storm and actually push it ashore. And so I'm watching it very, very, very closely. Yeah, very concerned about the possibility of, uh, of a catastrophe. 
Yeah, so you gotta watch yourselves out there. You gotta watch yourself. Uh, watch yourself good. Evidently, temperature is important to you guys. It's <laughs> yeah, a bit of a cold packet here coming up there in the truck. How you doing over there? Oh boy, is he gonna have some shrivelly grump nuts there? Absolutely, gonna be a bit nipply, huh? Get your snow bunny outfits out and enjoy those winter coats you pay all the freaking money for. Mothball most of the year because it's so nice over there. Yes, yeah, so you got some nice skiing conditions going on here. He's watching my friend Paul. He's gonna be enjoying himself out there on the slopes. Yeah, it's good to see uh, people enjoying Mother Nature, even if the snow is uh, man made. Yeah, there's a big section of coal coming through there, Australia. That's gonna fuel the storm's toll. Natural dynamics, always a little bit of a hot packet over here, and I'm not talking about one yeah, that, you, that you eat a hot packet, they're talking about, ooh, hot air to, to flow towards the coal. That's how that works, just write it down. Damn word. Yeah, you see, you can have some pop-ups, that's, that's bad. When you get in a, a trough like that, it's going to cause some problems. How you doing, New Zealand? Oh, boy. Hey, you too. It's winter time, I think. Would you say it's winter time? Right, it's winter. Right, it is winter. Let's go over there. It's near to to Kiki Kaka Kaka. Let's go get to Kaki's weather. It's somewhere over here. There's Kaka. And your weather was Kaka. Oh, that's nice. You get six to seven degrees in the winter. Let's take what you get. Hey, look, it's a heat wave. You went up to four. Black heat wave early in my thoughts. Hey, who knows, that might be how we're heating each other. We'll all be eating beans and praying the other guy's got gas. All right, trapped at you. Light it now. Oh, thank you. My hands are warm, but my nose is crying. Ten degrees. Where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolute heat wave blaster that day, eh? Yeah, but there's a cold packet through here. You guys are very volatile. That's what I wanted to see. How volatile. Volatility. And by the end of the month, you guys are fucking cold, man. Mine is there, ice on the roads, watch yourselves. And as ice water in the cracks in some of these hills expands when it freezes, yeah, you will have slides. Count on it. It's just how that works, because water will destroy a mountain, given the right conditions. It's right. Right, I think I showed you all that. Now I'd like to where I go over to the United States of America. And they're in the middle of quite the opposite. They got an absolute blast in heat waves going on, which is fueling a lot of storms. Right, look at this. Look at what they got out here in Texas. What you expect? It's summertime in Texas. 42 is not hey. 46 for them over there. Let me show you this in what I would call real temperature. They grew up in Fahrenheit. Hey, so here, look at this. Hey, these are in the hundreds. Hey, this is hot. This is very, very, very hot. They went from needing their air. Their heaters in to need an air conditioning in, and uh, the grid won't take it. However, electric cars could be able to uh, su sustain their usage with uh, when temperatures hit this, and people's lives need the electricity uh, for cooling themselves. My God, this had burning up in Fresno. There'll be a lot of violence. It'd be easy to trigger riots and weathers like this. That'd be a false one false flag away from burning the town down. Redding too. There's a big packet of really hot air here. In the Sacramento Valley is a growing place over here. Absolute important yeah, for growing food. Very big heat wave in the Carolinas, but welcome to when August in North Carolina is in dog days. But you'll be hitting the hundreds like every day. Yeah, you go out in the market and it's like 85. Yeah, I was used to that. Yeah, but what's important and all about what's for them is I'm giving them a quick forecast that I really wasn't intending that part. But I might as well. My voice is working. And it looks like we get a bit of an anti-cyclone turn it over there in some of the, uh, some of the, the northern states there of uh, Canada. Alberta, Saskatchewan. Nelson, this is going to be important for the dissipation of some of the smoke I'm going to show you. And the smoke is terrible. Smoke is also condensate, so having rain come through that smoke is not unusual, but the fallout of it is going to be taxing. St. Louis, you're at risk of tornadic activity on Wednesday at a 19, so be careful of them lines. All the heat and uh, cool air are converging around there. So we have to watch you guys very closely. As the afternoon's 
thunderstorms are pretty normal uh, to see at this time of year. And with the geoengineering, it'll show it off. It really will. As we take you into a next week, some of your rain totals were uh, some were looking really high, and some spots on the tens. Who that one big sweat through here, as the heat hold held off there, and the outflow boundaries it is. And this will just be all tropical. And I think if I remember right, uh, that was a uh, um, I had some actual concern. Okay, so as we get closer to that day, yeah, I'll let Nola know what's going on. Oh, you're gonna have to learn inches. Canada uses that, so I gotta keep flipping back and forth. Nova Scotia, yar man, yar. Is that too good there for you or the other Liverpool, hey? Yeah, 13 centimeters for you. It. Ooh, yeah, that good, not good at all. Some of the sticky outfits as they're moving the stuff up and around and forcing that stuff to rain back over kid. Yeah, your smoke was terrible looking. This is uh, the Ramby slider uh, for today. Yeah, I don't like that one. I'm sorry. I got the wrong thing, up, so I won't use it. And I'm going to use uh, the worldview. Let's use the worldview. All right, let's go back to yesterday. Last full family picture day we have of all of us. Did you smile or did you frown? Turn your frown upside down. Have a smile. Turn to smile when you see and shit like this. Yeah, but yours was an admins. Now, I, I put on my fire statistic, right? Now, I'll get that back out. Right. And now, we will, we will uh, do you want to reset that uh, to its default? And you will lose your current state. I will not have that occur. And uh, leave it alone. And one of the dates is showing no fire data at all. And I think it's that day that I went in and I started measuring. I think it was around a 7. Right here. This day here has no fire data. Like, all this smoke has come from nowhere. And that day does. It's the day I did the fork thing and I showed you the separation points of how far uh, together, uh, how uniform uh, these lines were to each other. That's why I was asking about back burning. You know, I was picking up uh, two kilometers apart, some of them three miles, each one, every one of them uh, in a grid, these fires. They were very suspicious to me. Yeah, yeah, very, very, very suspicious. I didn't know if it was a back burn, and I'd like to get benefit of the doubt that there's not somebody just burning down my forest. But uh, these are neighborhoods going up when you see that color smoke. It's like insulations and stuff from people's houses. This is uh, people's lives going up here. Very, very sad. Okay, so the little light of smoke in the air okay, from Canada fires, it's covered a vast area. You know, even as, then there's a lot of chem even uh, involved holding it in the air. And so it's not settling like it should. It's making sure it goes all around the entire world. We're all getting some of the benzenes and stuff that end up coming from burning pines and other things that are on fire down here, fuels and whatnot. You know, it's just a sweat to fire from here to here. It just looks dodgy to me. There's animals inside the square. Could they get out? Did they get out? A lot of that is chem. It wasn't bad enough to be toxified. They had to spray him. It's chemtrails. I'm inside the smoke. Here on July 12th. Over Canada. I'm just going to do the quickest thing. To they, they actually deployed in Huge ways. The smoke has been so toxic over to these poor folks in here, I don't see how any of them can hardly catch a breath anymore. They don't want you marching. They don't want you being able to walk long distances, I don't think. They're scared we're going to fight back because we're tired of watching our world being destroyed if over corporate greed, over fights at their dinner tables where we're not even allowed to have a scrap. Look at the color of that. It's a terrible looking smoke plume. Terrible luck at smoke plug. Absolutely disgusting. Fire, so many fires burning. My world is burning. In that same area. I'm having zoom trouble, so give me a moment. It's very, very, very disgusting. The ocean temperature over 100? Hey, well, I hadn't heard it. You start seeing fish floating up. The oxygen levels will get very low. 
It was, just, it was a blessed key for New York. Look at Africa. I go to uh, the last big image I got. Uh, you see the amount of smoke curvature in Canada. And it's all the way up into Alaska. Right where they went that highway. And they want the new railroad and the trade line. I'm going to measure the area of this. Right, we're plumed all the way over. This is how much smoke air from this fire plume is. Right, that's seven million five hundred thirty six thousand three hundred fifteen square kilometers of absolutely lethal air. It's nearly three million squares. Oh, come on. Shit, it, shit, nips. Right, I had to screenshot that. It's gone too far. Geoengineering is scorched earth policies. If it got me to the point of tears, it is, it's, it's unacceptable. Yeah, it was, it was a, didn't like I could troll too much. I had to do it different. As if that gives you an idea of how much space is burning right now. How much smoke is over the top of you. And how, how far we got to go. Right. Be you, be free, be oneness, stay safe. I got your backs. I'll be watching. Peace.